Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I thought we could just go ahead and try on a few things that I haven't really played with much yet. So the first item um, I thought we would play with is the Laura Mercier. This is the Eyes of Gold Mini Caviar Stick Collection. So this is one of the little holiday sets they have out right now, but it, none of the colors are holiday or limited edition. It's just a way to try out some of their caviar eye sticks. And I have one of these already that I have used before. Uh, I believe the color I had is um, Amethyst. Um, actually, I might have two of them. But um, this has four colors that I, they're all pretty neutral. So this first one is called Rose Gold. And you can see that's a really light, it's actually more of a champagne. I, there's really not that much rose in it. So it's like a warm champagne, but I wouldn't really call it a rose gold personally. Um, so that is Rose Gold. And then we have Copper. This looks like it's going to be really pretty. Okay, so you can see that that's definitely a true copper. I think that's a great name for it. And then we have Burnished Bronze. This actually looks way more plummy so far. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a brown with a tint of purple to it. And then the last one is cocoa. All right, so let's see. And that is a nice deep brown. Um, yeah, cocoa powder, espresso, something like that. Maybe not quite as dark as a true espresso, but you can see they're all going to be neutral colors um, and go from lighter to darker. All right, so I've used these before, so I already know that the stain power on these is great. So they're really smooth and creamy going on. Um, they have like, they don't really feel like much on your eye. You've got a few minutes uh, play time to kind of, you can see you can kind of blend them out and smear them, um, but they will set down. Um, you know, I haven't really checked to see exactly how transfer proof they become. I don't usually try to touch my eyes at all. Um, but I'll check that and put the answer to that down in the description box. So if you're curious, uh, I know these are not new products. I'm sure, you know, <laughs> pretty much everybody has used these before. Um, I just personally didn't really use a lot of eye sticks or liquid eyeshadows or anything until recently. My friend really convinced me to give these a try because she loves these. And from what I understand, the Laura Mercier caviar eye sticks are kind of like the gold standard of these like eye cram type pencils. So I thought we could play around with those. And then um, so far on my face, all I have on is I did a 50-50 mix of the By Terry Starlight Rose CC Booster with my um, Surratt Dewdrop Foundation in one and a half. And then I had the Sisley... Um, Fido or Stilo Lumiere, and this is color one um, under my eyes. And I'm trying a new brow gel. Um, this is the Wander Beauty um, brow gel in the color taupe, and I'm comparing it to see how I like it. And I think it gives a really natural light look. It's not as dark or stiff as like the Tom Ford um, fiber brow gel. But it's, you know, um, I don't know, so far it's really easy to work with. I've only used it a couple times, so I'll, uh, I'll be testing that out for a while. All right, so I thought we could play with this. Uh, let's start off with the eye colors, and then we'll, we'll move on and can do blush and things. All right, so I think let's start with the rose gold, and I'm going to put this on the inner portion of my eyes. So then I think let's move on to the, I, th I think I'm actually going to line with the copper and uh, well, yeah, let's move on to the burnished bronze. I'm going to put this in the middle of my lid. 
I'm going to kind of blend these all at the end. So I'm overlapping a little bit. And then I'm going to do the cocoa right at the very outer corner. All right, so that's obviously pretty messy looking at the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, um, let's use the Ruffer 13 brush. It's like a smaller crease brush. I'm going to start by blending the lighter colors together. And then let's just blend in the outer. I'm just going to kind of drag it into my crease. These spread so nicely. Um, they're really easy to work with. I think that really um, gave a lot of dimension adding the darker color here. And it actually smooth really nicely into the crease with the lighter colors doesn't look too dark there all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and i want to have kind of like more of a brighter lines look with the copper so i think this is a little bit too chunky for me to use directly on the eye um you know for a liner purpose unless i want to kind of cover a lot of that so i'm gonna go ahead and um I'm going to use the Ruffer 03. This is the pencil brush from them. I'm just going to wipe some on the tip here. And I'm going to line my lower and my upper lashes. Alright, and I'm going to add a little bit to my inner corner as well. Alright, so that's it for the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and add some mascara. Okay, so that is the eyes. So let's go on and let's play with the blush. I think today I'm going to use the um, new Patrick Ta blush that I purchased the, and she's passionate. So this is the pink color from him. And we're gonna go in with the, let's try the Reform 19. It's just gonna get a little bit up here. So I'm just going to diffuse that out a little bit. Okay, I like that blush. Alright, so let's move on and do a little um, finishing powder. And I'm going to use my current favorite, the Guerlain Meteorites in Golden Land. So that's this one. and. You know, I'm actually going to use the Ruffer Bronzer Rush, the P22. So it's um, a little big, uh, which is what how I like to use for my finishing powders. Um, it's a little bit more oblong than what I would typically use for a finishing powder, but I like the size of it. 
So I that's what I've been using this brush for since I do not use a lot of bronzer. And when I do, I typically prefer a smaller brush um, because for me, being so fair, I really have to be careful uh, with the application and where I put it. Because bronzers just don't look super natural on me usually because I am not a person who tans. So, you know, um, it's something that I use more, more rarely. All right, so that's it for that part. Now we just have to decide lips. So, um, I wanted to try one of the Laura Mercier lip products. And I have two choices here. We've got the, we've got a sample of the Rouge Ultime, which is a red lipstick. Let's put that here. And I got this, oh, it's actually more of a, cherry so it's in the camera it's looking more reddish but on my hand in real life it's looking more of a bright fuchsia so we've got this and then I also got this sample card with my purchase of three different uh, lip products this is the silky cream lipstick there's new prefer prefer a uh, rouge ultime which is the same one that I have here and l'orange so Let's, we'll start with the Rouge All Team and actually no, let's start with the new Preferé and then if necessary, we'll take it off. Um, so the little sample card comes with a little lip brush. So I thought that was a nice little touch. And then just see here. Okay, this is my um, Wayne Goss 07, which is a lip brush. And you can kind of firm in here. It looks like I'll be able to get plenty of uses out of this. And obviously using this brush is going to give me a lighter application. But I haven't used any Laura Mercier lip products in years. I used to use them a lot when I was younger and then I just kind of stopped purchasing things from them. Uh, I guess everything just kind of seemed all the same to me. And I just started preferring other brands. It has a nice light texture. Um, I always find that in these samples, the texture is always a little off, probably due to and the change in the amount of air surrounding the product. So um, I'll see how the texture is with this instead. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more accurate. But I think this is a nice light. It's kind of more of a, I want to say a powder pink kind of color than I expected. It's not as nude as I thought. It's definitely more pink. And it's... Nice, it's a warm pink, so there are some orangey tones in it, on me at least, but I think it's a, a nice shade. All right, so let me take this off and then we'll try on the red. Okay, so let's try on the Rouge Ultime and we'll go straight from the bullet in this one. This is a little wobbly, so it's making the application a little difficult because it feels like the bullet's like gonna fall out. Just gonna go in with this lip brush again. All right, so this is Rouge Ultime. I think this is a nice pink pinkish red. I think um, it's actually more pink um, in my mirror than it is um, on the camera here. See, I'm not sure if you can see. But it's definitely going to have more of a fuchsia undertone. Um, it's a cool toned red. Um, I'm not sure how well. I think it, it would look really nice on some deep skin tones. But I think people with warmer coloring, this color might not work so well. Um, so, you know, it kind of depends on, on your undertones, but I don't know. I feel like it's a nice, cool red. Um, texture wise, it feels 
nice, uh, pretty similar to the sample, although this was definitely a bit firmer and um, just the feeling of the sample was a little bit on the drier side than through the bullet, which I feel is typical whenever you use something from a sample packet. All right, so I think I'll stick with this color and and that's basically it. So let's take a look at these samples now. So it has been um, maybe 10 minutes since I applied these. Let's just see you know, how well they stay. You can see that they've really kind of set down. They're not budging. And when I touch it, um, there's a, maybe a slight tackiness to the feeling in the darker colors. We can't really feel anything in these two lighter ones. Um, so it's just like you feel that your finger is dragging over something, but you can't actually, you know, it's not sticky per se. Um, but yeah, no budge. So, and I know from experience, these are hard to get off my hand, <laughs> but um, they do come off easily with makeup remover at the end of the day. So I will put an update in as to how long they last. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.